Shalom and hello everyone. This is Talia. Let's talk about faith for a moment. I've been asked a couple questions this week by some young ladies about uh, the Hebrew faith. Um, what is it? What does it look like? Um, how long I have been in it? Just, just general questions and things like that. And what stood out to me was why am I doing this? So I present that question to you. Why are you Hebrew? Why? Why are you Hebrew? Why are you doing this? Um, what possess you or what led you to choose this? Why are you doing this? And I think that's a very important question. I think that's a question that takes a little bit of thought. Um, because we all have a choice. We all have free will. Um, but it's good to define that. Why you choose this walk. It's a walk. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle change. So with that comes great responsibility. And it needs to be said. It needs to be acknowledged. I think that's very important. And um, that just takes me to a great chapter in going towards the New Testament, I, I, I tend to go to this chapter quite a bit because it just brings things back to basics. It brings things back in order on um, why we do this. This walk to me is done by faith. Faith is a strong, strong pillar, strong standard for this walk. Um, I do this by faith. By faith, I, I show a lot of things. So let's go to Hebrews 11. And I just want to read the very first verse. Um, it says, now by faith, um, excuse me, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence or proof of things not seen. So by faith, you are doing something that you have no idea what it may look like, where it may lead, you're doing it in the hope of. So I look, now there's plenty of examples. If you ever read this chapter, there's plenty of examples to go off on. But I, I look at this, every time I look at this chapter, I see something different. So when someone asks you, why do you do this? Is, why are you Hebrew? Are you Hebrew because you're, um, you, you just want to wear, fashionable fringe clothes no are you doing this because you're ready to tell people how bad they are not really um, are you doing this to tell white people how bad they are no are you I mean you know just why 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 are you choosing to eat certain things um, abide by laws that are done by faith statutes. You do them, you have no idea why. Why do I need to put a, a, um, a ribbon of blue or um, wear coverings and things of that nature, why? So I go back to our patriarchs and our matriarchs to give an example on why they, do, why they chose to become Hebrew. Um, I know I chose to become Hebrew because it brought me life. It brought me meaning. It um, showed my purpose. It shined a light on my gifts. Um, it brought me health. It brought me prosperity. It brought me comfort. Um, it's brought me a daughter that I didn't think I would have for a moment. It's brought me a husband that I didn't think I would meet. He has... Um, pulled me out of some things that have probably would have taken me down in a very dark pit. Um, I would have stayed in that pit. Uh, he has been everything he said he would be in this scripture and personally to me. So I have tested his word. I have walked out by faith. I have, you know, threw his words back at him the most high. And I said, you said, if you know, you love me and I, you are my comforter and you are my provider. Show me what you're talking about. Cause I need to know I'm in a very bad place. So, you know, at, in that moment, 
Um, in my past, I've been doing this for about five years now, and I have seen traumatic, dramatic changes within my life that I can say he is alive and he is real, and this word is living. So um, I look at Abraham and say, you know, I just imagine what he might have gone through. You know, he took his family and Abraham, you know, they probably was asking him, where are you going? What are you doing? Why are you leaving your comfort? Why are you leaving your security and your land and something that's familiar? Where are you going? He said, I need to go. I need to go. I can see him saying, I need to go because my God told me that he promised me an inheritance. He promised me a son. The desires of my heart, I, I want to leave behind. You know, he gave that to him. He walked out in verse 10. He said, for Abraham looked for a city that was made by Elohim. He looked for a city that was not made by man. He left his house by faith. He left by faith. I can see Sarah decorating her tent for her son and people asking her, what are you doing? Why are you decorating, you know, with baby stuff? She, and I can see her replying, he promised me a son. And so I'm going to get ready. You know, I looking at Noah, he built an ark and everyone probably looked at him and laughed at him. What are you doing? Why are you building the ark? And Noah saying, because the most high told me something's coming and I'm going to get ready. So the question for you is, are you ready? What is the most high trying to prepare you for? Um, are you allowing your body to become a temple to be used? Are you um, excited to see what he has promised you? You know, just asking yourself those questions as we're entering in another season to transition is very important. Um, I believe that he, he says who he is. And so faith is important. You, you know, it's the foundation of this to begin with. So I present those questions for you just to ask yourself. Um, to keep them in front of you. Why are you doing this? You know, what is your motive? Are you here to share the good news? Are you here to share that Yeshua is real and that he's alive and he said who he said he is, that he is Elohim in the flesh and that he healed if he came down here, he walked on this earth. Do you believe that? And do your actions say that? Um, are you here to spread his will and his law and his structure and his teachings and his wisdom are you here to promote your own are you here for your own agenda are you doing this for your own agenda are you hebrew to spread your own agenda are you twisting some words to achieve your goals see that's the questions that i feel like people should ask themselves um before they step any further because if you do believe his word then you would believe all the other things that he said he would do um so with that being said i i pray that everyone who chooses to become hebrew see the blessings and the benefit of becoming this um it's a beautiful thing it is i don't look at it as thing all the things that i can't do but i look at it as all the things that I can do and that he does give you um it's a bartering system that's how I look at it you know the most high our father in heaven our 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 maker our creator says if you do this then I'll do this for you you know it's a give and take it's a relationship so he says experience me and then you can see how this relationship how far I can go you know, we do that with every relationship in our in our society. Why not do that with him um, who can surpass all things? So I pray that that blesses you. Um, Till next time, shalom. God bless.